So it looks like Gabrielle Union is taking sides in the Tia Mari and Corey Hardrick divorce. And surprise, surprise, she is taking Tia's side in this case. Tia and Gabrielle go way back. So it's not surprising that Gabrielle would be providing Tia with support while she tries to navigate her life and heal after that messy divorce. But not only is she supporting Tia, it turns out that Gabrielle also ripped into Corey for trying to come for her oldest friend. And some new details about the divorce are coming to light, which just shows how crazy things got behind the scenes. And we are all out here thinking that this was gonna be one of the most peaceful celeb divorces. Okay, so in case y'all somehow missed it, Tia announced her divorce from Corey in 2022 on Instagram saying, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. The divorce came out of the blue because we all thought that their marriage was rock solid. But it turns out that Ish had really hit the fan behind closed curtains. According to insiders, when Gabrielle found out that Tia was getting divorced, she immediately reached out to Tia to offer her support because she had gone through a divorce herself and she knew how difficult it could be to navigate a divorce when you're a public figure. And fans immediately started playing detective and trying to figure out what had led to the divorce because it just seemed very random. There were speculations that he might have cheated on her or something, but one thing everybody seemed to agree on was that somehow Corey was the one at fault and it was his fault that the marriage was ending. He made things worse for himself when he decided to throw shade at Tia saying, acting off of emotions will cost you every time. Shading your wife who has just filed for divorce is never a good move. And Corey learned this the hard way when he got dragged by Tia's fans for trying to make the divorce messy when she was doing her best to make it seem as peaceful as possible. However, Tia couldn't help herself and she gave us a little hint as to why she dumped Corey. And it was all tied to money and how Corey was not pulling his weight financially in the relationship. The Neighborhood Talk made a post about partners not contributing financially and Tia liked the video. And just in case liking the video did not get her point across, she also hopped in the comments to drop a side eye emoji, which made it clear that she could relate to the video. And honestly, it didn't surprise anyone that Tia was the one paying the bills in the marriage because it has always been like that since she and Corey first got together. She had already found success in the industry while Corey was still trying to get his career off the ground while paying off his debt. So Tia automatically took over the bills in the relationship and this continued well into their marriage. Now Tia expected that once Corey got his feet settled, he would also take up the financial burden, but he allegedly got too comfortable with Tia doing everything so she eventually got sick and tired of this and she realized that Corey was never going to change, so she filed for divorce. And luckily for her, she had a very strong support system, including her twin sister, her fans, and even her good old friend, Gabrielle Union. Now, the reason Gabrielle was so supportive of Tia is that she knew how it felt to be married to a man who didn't want to pay the bills and left her to do all the spending in the marriage. Because it turns out that Gabrielle went through something similar when her first husband, Chris Howard, didn't pay bills, and this led to her to start cheating on him because she felt entitled to it. She opened up about this in an interview where she said, in our first marriage, neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating. A part of it was keeping up with his activities, and I was like, oh, that's what you're doing? Oh, you're gonna feel this one. She also claimed that she felt justified in her actions, stating, I just felt entitled to it as well. I was paying all the bills, I was working my butt off, and I felt that's what comes, the spoils of riches. She also claimed that she learned this behavior from her dad, saying, like my dad before me, whoever has the most gets to do whatever the heck they want, is what I thought. It was just dysfunctional from day one. I know that's messed up, but the thing is, she was willing to at least pay half of the bills. But Chris wasn't interested in that. I mean, Gabrielle has revealed that she currently splits the bills with her current husband, Dwayne Wade, 
So I don't think she has a problem with splitting the bill, but being the sole provider is where she draws the line. This was the same thing that Tia was dealing with when she was married to Corey, so it only makes sense that Gabrielle was one of the first people who reached out to let Tia know that she was doing the right thing and also offered support. But the thing is, Corey didn't want to get divorced from Tia and he did his best to delay the divorce as much as possible. A couple of weeks after Tia announced the divorce, he went live on Instagram to reveal that he still loves Tia and wants her back. Okay, I love my beautiful family. Love my kids, love my wife, I love all you guys. And allegedly, Gabrielle was one of the people who supported Tia to not fall for Corey because it was clear as day that Corey was trying to guilt trip Tia into staying with him. This honestly makes a lot of sense because only a few weeks after Tia revealed to TMZ that she wanted to spend Christmas with Corey for the sake of their kids, he countered her divorce filings. We are, we are oh. gonna be spending the holidays with him, which we're really excited about. Oh, lovely, yeah. the whole fam, I love with the that. whole family. He filed his own documents where he asked for spousal support from Tia. According to Radar Online, Court documents show that he was asking the court to have Tia financially support him and at the same time urging the court to make sure that he didn't have to pay a single dime to Tia. Not just that, but he also contested the prenup that they signed before their marriage and according to Radar Online, Corey's lawyer put a note on the response that stated he wanted the court to determine the validity of the prenuptial agreement dated April 14, 2008 and or that any provisions are unconscionable. Basically, he wanted the court to throw out their prenup. While Tia was out here trying to be an understanding and peaceful ex-wife, Corey was out here just making nasty moves against her. According to an insider, it was at this point that Tia realized that she needed to act smart and protect herself and her assets from Corey. He managed to get the prenup thrown out by court, but Tia hit back at him hard. She asked the courts to give her every single thing that belonged to her in a marriage. And I'm not even talking about just big assets like houses and cars. I'm talking about small, petty things like airline miles, rewards points, and all other credit card points on credit cards in her name and on credit cards in the name of entities owned by her. The divorce finally got finalized and Tia has been living her best life since then. People have noticed that she seems a lot more healthier, happy, and glowing. Even better, she and Gabrielle appear to have grown even closer since the divorce. They recently took a healing trip together to the south of France and Tia posted this video of them busting moves and having the time of their lives. According to sources, Gabrielle has been helping Tia heal after her marriage, Gabrielle has been one of Tia's major support systems and has showed up for her every step of the way. And insiders report that Tia couldn't be more grateful to have Gabrielle on her side. Fans are here for this beautiful friendship and they left comments saying, women lifting each other's spirits up just by being genuine and creating fun memories. I'm so glad to see them together. Everyone needs a sister friend. Tia most definitely needed this girl trip, pure happiness and good crazy fun. And the ultimate girls trip, love it. So what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think Gabrielle was right to get involved in Tia's divorce? Or do you think that she should have sat it out? Let me know what you think in the comments, then check out this next video.